Shalom, 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 Yasharala, it's your brother Nechamia, Ak Nechamia from Nations and Kings and Priests, no Cap Cali section, all right? And first and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Basham, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, all right? Giving all honor and all glory to him, to the Heavenly Father, all right, for another day to be able to have our senses, to be able to do these classes, all right? And I want to send a mighty Shalom to all the Akim. On the highways and byways, presenting their bodies as living sacrifices, according to Romans, the 12th chapter. You know, going out there, magnifying the name of the Most High to the best of their ability, keeping these law statutes and commandments to the best of their ability, keeping these feast days and teaching your ribs and your children to do so. All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I also want to send out another mighty Shalom to all the Akwath out out there reverencing their husbands, being submissive, being diligent, being keepers at home, being teachers to good things to the children, all right, <clears throat> and walking and striving in the righteous paths of our foremothers, all right, uh, trying to be that First Peter chapter 3 woman, trying to be that Ephesians 5 woman, trying to be that Proverbs chapter 31 woman, all right, just for the basic, basic chapters for a woman to understand and to actually walk and strive to um, walk in the righteous paths of our foremothers. All right. And do so accordingly with sincerity and diligency. All right. Shalom, shalom, shalom. I also want to send out another mighty shalom to all the Zaquanium of the Masharal Yasharala. Shalom. And to all the Zaquanium that are not part of the Masharal, Masharal Yasharala, putting in this work, being sincere, being diligent, and reverencing the Most High and magnifying the name of the Most High to the best of their ability. Shalom, shalom, shalom. All right. Now, this is a Sunday milk class. All right. And this is a very quick, very simple class, all right? And I see a lot of Akim um, and Akwath as well that uh, misuse certain words, specifically about the Sabbath or the Shabbat, all right? So we're going to clear this up because if we're going to be at least attempting to speak words in our ancient tongue, in our original tongue, we need to be, we need to make sure what we are saying. Because if you say a word and you don't know the meaning of that word, but you're trying to say peaceful Sabbath to somebody and you're not using the right, pro the proper word, you are, are, dismantling the actual meaning of saying peaceful sabbath when you are miss saying a word or let alone even know the word that you're saying in your ancient tongue you need to know what you're saying when you're speaking in your ancient tongue i know when you come into the truth you hear everybody say shabbat shabbat s-h-a-b-b-a-t shabbat shalom or shabbat shalom all right now, we're going to clear up this Shabbat word, because when you say Shabbat Shalom or Shabbat Shalom, you're not saying peaceful Sabbath at all. Why do I say that? Because the word Shabbat um, doesn't mean Sabbath. It means something totally different. But before I get into that, I want to pull a line out of the prologue of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, that some may call it, all right? And if you can see, you see this little circle, I'm going to start at the word for. So I'm pretty sure you can see that little dot on the screen. Now I'm going to start at that word for, all right? And it says, this is the prologue of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, and it reads, for the same things uttered in Hebrew, our original tongue. We're going to stop right there. For the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. So we have to you know when we, what I'm trying to get to out of this, out of this line is when we're speaking in our ancient tongue, it has a lot of force behind it. Our ancient tongue is very simple to understand, but it's so great for the meaning that it carries. So when you're saying a word you and you're misusing that word, you're taking away a whole lot and you're you're 
you're giving you're sending out the mis you're sending out a message to that person when you're saying you're trying to say peaceful Sabbath, but the word that you're using is not even the proper word for Sabbath. So you're taking away from what you're actually trying to say. All right. For this for the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. So when you speak something in Hebrew, it is powerful. What I'm trying to get to is when you speak in your ancient original tongue, it is powerful. So we need to know the words that we are saying. So when we send out these messages of love for, for the Shabbat with the TH at the end, we are sending the proper message in sincerity and diligency. So with that being said, matter of fact, let me reread it again. For the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. All right. So even when you say something in English, it doesn't even have the same force as it would if you were to speak it in Hebrew. So the point is, when you speak something in Hebrew, it carries a lot of weight. So you have to have your words correct when you're speaking with somebody. This is very important. We can't come into the truth. I know when you first come into the truth, you hear Shabbat Shalom or Shabbat Shalom with two T or with a T at the end. All right. That's not the correct word for Sabbath. Or sh that's not the correct word for Sabbath in the Hebrew, in the original Hebrew, the paleo. That's not the correct word for Sabbath. So this is what we, we this is. This is why I'm trying to do this class. So we are saying the correct word. We have to unlearn and relearn what's proper. Now, let's get into the class. All right. With that being said, so I'm going to start with this. So you see this right here. This is. The word for Shabbat. All right. So you have right here. Sha. That first letter right there. In the so-called modern, which really isn't even modern. In the modern, so I'm just going to say modern for the sake of this class. In the so-called modern, this letter right here is a sha. 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 The next letter right here is a ba. 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 The next letter is right here. A ta, ta, ta. So when you're saying this in its entirety, you got sha, ba, ta. So you got sha, bat, sha, bat. Yes, you're pronouncing the last two letters together. Sha, bat, sha, bat. Now, what is shabbat? mean it means rod staff club scepter or tribe all right i'm gonna go to the blue letter i usually always go to the blue letter last then there's there's reasons why and i'll do another class on this later but i'm just gonna do this so i have a second witness all right so we got this again we got the first letter sha sha Sha, ba, 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 ta, ta, ta. Sha, bat, sha, bat, with a T at the end. S H A, S H A, that's sha, B A, that's ba, ta, T A, shabbat. Now, let's see how they say it on here. I guess since I'm screen recording, don't let me do it. That's all right. But it's pronounced Shabbat. All right. And we see right here, look at the definitions right here. Rod, staff, branch, offshoot, club, scepter, tribe, 
rod, staff, shaft, or spear, dart, club of shepherd's implement, transion, scepter, mark of authority, clan, or tribe. So when people are saying Shabbat Shalom or Shabbat Shalom, you're not even saying peaceful Sabbath. You're saying staff Sabbath, branch Sabbath, offshoot Sabbath, club Sabbath, tribe Sabbath, or um, or vice versa. So when you say Shabbat Shalom, it's just like some 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 Hebrew terms can be like Spanish in a way. Is when we say Shabbat, um, it, that's Sabbath first, and then Shalom, peace. But it's really saying peaceful Sabbath. So sometimes it. It's, it's similar in Spanish in ways. How some words are before the other. So, because we don't say Shalom Shabbat. It's not like that. It's not It's not like English. It's this different. All right. So, when you're saying Shabbat, or when you're saying Salak Laya, when you're saying Shabbat Shalom or Shabbat Shalom, you're not saying peaceful Sabbath. Why? Because you have the first word wrong. As we can see, Shabbat means this or means this. All right. So we have to stop saying Shabbat with the T at the end. Shabbat. I'm putting emphasis on this because I'm tired of seeing Akim say Shabbat. That's not the right way. We have to get our basic Hebrew right. Our basic or baryath. All right. So Shabbat means this. Rod, staff, club, scepter, tribe. And you already seen these ones right here. So you're not saying peaceful Sabbath. All right. You you saying something else. You're talking about peaceful staff, peaceful, peaceful. You're not even saying the proper word. So now that so the, now that is said, let me go back here and let's go to let's go to uh, the actual word you're supposed to be saying. All right, the word you're supposed to be saying. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and change it on this real quick. Salak Laya, bear with me. Dang. Okay, bear with me. So, um, bear with me, and we gonna go to it. All right. I don't like. I'm just going to the blue letter. I really don't like using the blue letter, like I said before. But we just we doing this for a second witness. Oh, uh, dang. I forgot my uh Salak layer. Let me go ahead and turn this thing on so I can go to it so I can get this second witness. <clears throat> I guess do not disturb is better. So let's do it. Salak layer for the uh for the prolonged period, but we're gonna get this. All right. So let me go back to uh, the blue letter go last all the time with me. So when you're saying Sabbath in the Hebrew. All right. Uh, obviously, this is the so-called modern, which is really not so-called. Or right, which is really not modern, you know, because this was created by Ezra and Nehemiah time ago. So. That's why sometimes you got to be careful with saying ancient because this is ancient as well. You know, but when I say ancient, I mean the original paleo. But sometimes you got to be careful with that. And you might have to uh, explain what you're saying when you say that. So right here, the the Hebrew word for Shabbat is Shabbatha. Tha. T-H-A. Tha. Not ta, not T-A, but tha. Sha. Ba. Tha. So when you say it all together, you got sha-bath. 
Shabbath. Shabbath with a T-H at the end, not just a T. Shabbath. That's how you say Sabbath in the Hebrew. It's not Shabbat. It's not Shabbat. It's Shabbat. Definition, Sabbath. So we got to clear this up. We got to stop saying Shabbat, Shalom, or Shabbat, Shalom. We have to stop doing that because things that are uttered in Hebrew carry force. It's powerful. So if you're saying a word that's not even the, the, what you think it is, you have to change it. That's not how you say sab Sabbath in the in the paleo. In the original tongue, in our original tongue. So let's get it right. Unlearn and relearn. All right. So as you can see, it says Shabbat. Sha. Ba, tha, which the A is just at the end because you're putting ba and tha together. Shabbat means Sabbath. All right, so when you're saying peaceful Sabbath, it needs to be Shabbat Shalom or Shabbat Shalom. All right, this class needed to be done. So now. Let's go to here. The second witness. We got Shabbat. We got Sha. 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 Ba. 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 Tha. 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 Shabbat. Shabbat. All right. And you can see when you see the pronunciation, it got the same little, but they, you know, they do it differently. Sabbath, Day of Atonement, Sabbath year, week. Sabbath. So it's pronounced Shabbat Shalom or Shabbat Shalom. I have to put emphasis on this because I see this so much. It is ridiculous. And this is a this is basic Hebrew that we should know. It's basic. It's simple. So Akim Wa Akwath. It is Shabbat Shalom or Shabbat Shalom, either or, whatever you like better. Stop saying Shabbat because you're not saying Sabbath when you say that. And with our original ancient tongue, it carries force. So don't carry force with the prop with the misunderstanding of a word. Because you're not saying what you think you are saying. All right. Because you're not saying what you think you are saying. Again, let me read this. And then and then this is the end of the class. It says. For the same things uttered in Hebrew. And translated into another tongue. Have not the same force. In them. Our ancient tongue carries a lot of force. So while we're speaking words, they need to be the proper words. With that, it's your brother Nechamia. Ak Nechamia from Nations and Kings and Priests, No Cap Cali section. Shalom.